I believe this is episode 77 of RV Dream Makers. Um, we're on an eight mile hike in Bryce Canyon. It is May 31st. June is just, it's just crazy it's already June. It's been unbelievable so far these last six months on the road. And we got three months left. But anyway, in this episode, we're boondocked out at Marble Canyon. And it's called Soap Creek Dispersed, I think, wasn't it? I don't know. And we didn't stay there very long. So we did, um, went to Horseshoe Bend. We did a hike uh, towards Page. And it was um, Toadstool Hoodoos. No, it was Pass Page. Pass Page. Yeah. It was more of a walk. It wasn't really a hike. You just walk back in there. And um, then we did the Navajo Bridge because we were just up the road from the Navajo Bridge. And then there was a... You could walk out to the end of the road where we were boondocked. And they were protecting the pincushion um, cactus because they only grow within like a 25 mile radius in that area. So I have some video of that and some pictures of that. And then Jody did some drone footage of the Colorado River there. Yeah, I messed up because um, it didn't start its flight out recording. I didn't start fly, I screwed it up. And, and then, then we uh, have drone footage of us pulling out, which I did the drone, so. I've only done it one other time, so it's not the best, but it shows us pulling out, so. And yeah, the Colorado is just so neat how deep it goes. I just was real nervous. I'm always real nervous with my drone because I don't want to get stuck in a situation where I, there's no way I can retrieve it. Uh, but also, when I brought it back from the big crevice that this Colorado runs in, the canyons, I guess you'd call it. There was a dozen, almost like barn swallows, but they're like a swallow that lives in the side of the rocks of the canyons. I guess they thought my drone was a dangerous bird to their babies or whatever. So they were dive bombing it. I don't know if you could see them flying around in the you could a little video but anyway hope you enjoy this episode
we walked back. Apparently the Colorado River is down there somewhere, but to go to the edge there is kind of scary. But there's a real deep gully <clears throat> there, and you can just pull right along here and camp right along here. So it's kind of cool. Wish I could see it, but yeah, you can't. Well, I guess if someone was brave enough to walk, but I'm not because it slants down hill and I can't do it. So, anyway. So, I got to a point, vantage point where you can see the river down there. So, you can see the river. It's kind of dark because the sun's setting, but this gulch is pretty amazing. I'm on a flat thing. I understand that. So we're at the Navajo Bridge. It says it was dedicated in 1995. It said when the historic Navajo Bridge was built in 1928, it was never intended to carry the larger heavy vehicles of today. A second bridge wider and stronger than the first was needed. The challenge for the Arizona Department of Transportation was to build a bridge for modern transportation needs that was sensitive to the environment and compatible with the historic bridge. The second bridge continues the tradition of the first to maintain an important transportation corridor to some of the world's most spectacular natural wonders. So this is the second one that holds cars and I'm assuming this is the first one that people walk across but you can't really drive across. So this one says, at the time of its construction, the historic Navajo Bridge was the highest steel arch bridge in the world. Total length, 834 feet. Steel arch length, um, there it is, uh, 615 feet. Arch rise, 90 feet. Height above river, 467 feet. Width of roadway, 18 feet. Amount of steel, 2.4 million pounds. It was dedicated in 1929. And they said it was called the biggest news in Southwest history. It was the only bridge across the Colorado River for, for some 600 miles. Wow. So that was in 1929 this was dedicated. It was dedicated in 1929. It's pretty crazy. So we're walking out on it. The boat down there. Colorado River, super low. And then on this side, you can tell there's like pebbles in here and there's like drainage holes. But, um, <laughs> yes, this is on the other side. This is kind of pushing my boundaries here. This is on the other side, it's really pretty. So. Okay, we are at Horseshoe Bend. And it is crazy the amount of people here and they charge $10 a car the city of Page to get to go or to see this. So it's crazy. Michelle, just wait to the... Oh wow. 
Look. Look at all the people down there. The canoes. That's not even the <laughs> oh, we're good, thanks. Yeah. You drop your phone, I'm not climbing over there. I will. Oh, yeah, you're... Are you nuts? You gotta be certifiable. I don't know what's going on with me, but this has got me freaked out. Why? I don't know. I'm just... My feet are... Here. <laughs> So we're on the trail back to the, it's called the Toadstool Hoodoos. So it's just a short trail. It's super popular. It's not, it's a walk. It's not even really a hike, but. So we were on our way. We're just walking along the wash. I'm assuming this comes up to it. Here's the first one. And there's a bunch out there. We'll go over there. There's one on top of that mountain. But it's just all the really neat red and white rock around here. Here's some more. These white canyon walls are just awesome. It's really cool. There's the one, it's got another one behind it called Toadstool Hoodoos. So here's a bunch of them here. They're really neat. They almost look man made, but I don't think they are. And all back in there. I mean, how awesome is this canyon like? Look at the canyon back in there. really neat. There's people way back in there. I'd love to explore all of that, but I don't think we will today because we haven't ate yet. So there they are up close. It's pretty cool. And then there's the one up there. And then there's one there. Smaller ones there. And then those are the two that are over there. called Toadstool stool Hoodoos. It's so weird the way this rock does. It's almost like concrete that has been slapped on it. I guess it's like a sandstone and that's just how it wears away. But it's, the, it's so bizarre because it looks like People have just slapped concrete on it. It's really crazy how it is. So of course I come exploring further. <laughs> I just absolutely love exploring when I get to a place and I, which I'm sure people find these, there's a trail back here, but these are kind of the ones off the beaten path. This trails just go on forever apparently so it's pretty cool there's another one it looks like there's some around the corner yeah I came over to this it's a pretty good drop um but I mean there's layers so you would or levels so you wouldn't I don't know fall directly down but anyways how beautiful is this this is really cool. And it looks like there's an arch over here. There's an arch right through there. But this is really neat. Very cool. If I was brave, I'd walk out there, but I'm not <laughs> at all. 
But anyway, look at that view. Amazing. came to the end of the road if you go to the right and there's a trail back to an overlook some people that are staying at the end told us about so and then all the pincushion cactus they're protecting them they said some about they only grow within a 26 mile radius and that um, I don't know something about it being rare so maybe they're dying off around here. So they're really trying to protect them. This one's really interesting over here. Whatever this cactus is, I'm trying to be careful to make sure I don't step on anything. I don't know if this is a pincushion on steroids or what, but holy mackinoli, that is crazy. That one's nuts. Man, that's crazy. They've marked some of them to protect them. And this one's really interesting. It has something on the top of it. I don't know if it's going to bloom. That's pretty cool. But they said that they marked some of them. It's an amazing boondocking spot back here. But they got the road closed because of the pincushion cactus. So here's the pincushions. They're like all over now we're finding them. And they're all blooming. There's one there. There's one teeny tiny in there. That one doesn't look so good. But they're all, they put rocks around them. There was two on the hill I took. I'm trying to be really careful. Look at all these. They put rocks around. And they say the pin cushions are really rare. There's another pin cushion. Um, popping up right there. It's pretty cool. I don't know if shade does better than 
There it is. That's a baby one. This is the end of the path, and there's the river. Some white rapids down there. So, pretty amazing view. And this is looking. I don't think that's a condor, is it? Looking back. You know, it might be. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like, share, and subscribe. Again, we're in Bryce Canyon. It's May 31st. I think the drone footage and that is from the first week of April, wasn't it? Um, probably. Maybe. 
Yeah. Like the fourth or fifth, maybe. I can put it on there. Remember, uh, God loves you, but only Jesus can save you. See ya.